in the city of Media, Sarah, the daughter of Raguel, had lost another husband. It was her seventh husband who had died, and every man who she got married to died the very next day. Look at Sarah, just sitting and crying like as if she had nothing to do with it. You think her husband just died? She must have killed them all. And now she's pretending to know nothing about it. Not one or two, but seven are dead. Stop it! Please don't talk like that about me. I'm innocent. Oh, you want us to believe what you say? Everybody in this town knows that you are the one who killed them all. No, I didn't kill them. Please believe me. What do you want us to believe? That one by one, seven of your husbands had heart attacks? And that too the very next day? Stop it. Please don't say any more and go away. Okay, we'll go. But don't think that we believe you. Oh God, I have had enough. I would rather die than go on living like this. Lord, please have mercy on me. Anna, I just remembered that I had given some money to my friend Gabriel. We could get it back any time. Huh? You are remembering this now? You should get the money immediately. We don't have to starve like this anymore. Tobias, I'm blind and I cannot travel that far. Can you go to Rages and collect the money from my friend? Of course, I will, father. Good. Then you must go and find a trustworthy man to travel with. We can pay him for his time. I shall go right away, father. Tobias walked for a long time searching for a travel companion. He couldn't find anybody who knew the way to Rages. Ah, I'll sit down here for some time. How am I going to find someone who knows the way to Rages? Hmm, I must trust in Lord as father says. He will show me a way. Hello. Huh? His face is so, uh, so beautiful. What do you want? I saw that you were sitting here tidily. Is there something I can do to help? Oh, I'm looking for a travel companion who knows the way to Rages in media. I can help you. I know the road to Rages. I have been there many times. That's wonderful. Do you know the house of a Gibel there in Rages? Ha! Huh, of course I do. I have stayed at his house for a while. Ha <laughs> ha! That's a great coincidence. Please, can you come with me to Rages? I can pay you for your time. Sure. Why not? We can start today itself if you want. Oh, by the way, my name is Tobias, the son of Tobit. What's your name? I am Azarius, and I belong to the same tribe as you do. All right, come, let's go home and pack our things. Tobias left for Rages along with his newfound friend and travel companion, Azarius. They sought the blessings of Tobit before they left for their journey. Azarius, please take good care of my son. I will, sir. My son, may the God bless you. May his angels protect you all the time. Have a safe journey and return to us soon. Tobias and Azarius walked for a long time and soon they reached the banks of river Tigris. Tobias, it will be dark soon. Let's camp here tonight and continue the journey tomorrow morning. Yes, friend. Hmm, the water looks very clear here. Let me take a bath. Go ahead. The water is very deep, so be careful. I won't go far. Hmm, it feels so nice. Huh? What is that? It's... it's a whale! Azarius, help! There's a whale coming! It will kill me! Don't worry. It's just a fish. 
catch it by its tail and throw it onto the shore. Huh? That was so easy. Here, take this knife. Hmm, we can roast the whole fish on fire. It will be delicious. No, I want you to cut the fish and keep the heart, liver and gall separately. We can roast rest of the fish. Uh, why do you want to keep those? I will tell you that on our way. Tobias did as told to him. He kept the heart, liver and gall of the fish separately wrapped in a bag. They continued their journey and after a few days, they reached the city of Egbana. Look there. That's the city of Egbana. Did you know that you have one of your relatives living there? Our relation? Father didn't say anything about them. His name is Ragel and he has a beautiful daughter, Sarah. You, my friend, are her next of her kin. Sarah? Daughter of Ragel? I think I've heard the name somewhere. Hmm. You must have heard the stories of how seven of her husbands had died after marrying her. Oh yes, I've heard about the evil spirits that is in love with her and how they kill anyone who marries her. Yes, it's true. Not one of her husband had survived a day after marrying her. Poor girl, I hope I can do something to help her. I think you should marry her with the intentions of starting a sacred family. Huh? But what about the devils? Don't worry about them. I will take care of that. Come, let's go to their house. There's something special about him. Anyway, I'll do as he says. Tobias married Sarah as Azarius had told him. Tobias, son of Tobit, I give you my daughter, Sarah to be your wife, according to the law of Moses. Azarius instructed Tobias to burn the heart and liver of the fish inside their room. What are you doing? I'm burning the heart and liver of the fish that I caught the other day. Why are you burning those? I don't know, dear. My friend Azarius had told me to do this. Now come on, Sarah. Let us pray for God's mercy. Oh God, have mercy on us and let us live together for a long time. Oh God, please don't let anything happen to Tobias. His father had suffered a lot and my daughter had been suffering for a long time. Please let them live for a long time. Master! Master! What happened? Did Tobias die too? No, Master! He's alive! <laughs> Tobias is alive! Praise and glory to you, my lord. Thank you. The evil spirits in Ragil's house flew out when Tobias burned the heart and liver. Tobias was alive and he was happy that he did as Azarius had told him. My friend, I don't know how to thank you. My father-in-law has given me half of his wealth too. My father and mother don't have to starve anymore. It's all because of you. Thank you, my friend. Everything happens as per God's plans, my friend. Now you stay here. I will go to Rages and meet Gabriel. Thank you. Here, take the scroll with you. This document will tell Gabriel to hand over the money to you. I will be glad to do it. I will be back within a week. Azarius returned quickly and when he came back, Jabel also came with him carrying the money. Tobias decided to return to his father along with his wife, Sarah. My daughter, go in peace. Respect your husband's parents as your own. Let us hear only the best about you. They traveled for many days through the hills and deserts. Tobias had become a very happy man now. He had a beautiful wife 
and he had plenty of money with him. Azarius, my friend, all these good things happened to me only because of you. I'm only sad thinking about my father, only if he could get his sight back. Hmm, do you have the gall of the fish that I told you to keep aside? Yes, I have. I've been carrying that all along. As soon as you reach home, you must put the fish gal to your father's eyes. Huh? Why should I do that? You must trust me, my friend. Hey, look! It's our son! Ha! Huh. He's back! <laughs> yes, he is! My son! Mother, it's so good to see you. Tobias told them what had happened. And then Tobias applied the fish gal on Tobit's eyes. Huh? I can see now. <laughs> I can see everything. Praise and glory to God for allowing me to see again. Father, this is a miracle. Yes, it is my son. We must thank Azarius for this. It's he who told me to apply this on your eyes. And all the good things that happened to me, my wife, our fortune, it's all because of him. Son, I don't know how to pay you. We will pay you double. No, we will give you half of everything we have. Because of you, we were blessed in so many ways. Tobit, huh? Be grateful to the Lord. He has seen all the good deeds you had done. He has seen your miseries. And he has heard your prayers. I am his angel. My name is Raphael. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for showing mercy on us. And that day, God rewarded Tobit and his family for never losing hope in the midst of hardships. Tobit lived for a very long time and he went on to see his grandchildren.